Y'all want uh, disc brakes on the goon? Here's your how-to. But first, let me say that this is not perfect. This isn't like factory specs. These are two adapters I got from China that I was just trying to make work. Plenty of times before, no bike is perfect. Well, this isn't perfect either, so don't expect it to be. I've been getting so much positive response. Thank you to everybody that's been giving me all this positive feedback. I really just wanted disc brakes because I don't like V-brakes. I need that smooth, easy control, so this is why I did this. This only works on my bike because I have a flip-flop hub. And the only company I know that are dropping big wheelie bikes right now with flip-flop hubs is Throne Cycles, the 2020 Goon. Go get that bike if you're trying to run all this. Local bike shop, go to City Grounds online, go to thronecycles.com, anywhere. Order your throne. Do I recommend doing this to your bike? Yes. Is it perfect? No. All right, so with that being said, here's all the tools you're gonna need right here. So here you have the flip-flop hub. The thrones come with the uh, flip-flop hub and it comes with a fixed gear cog on this side. So you're gonna have to remove that. How to remove that? What I did is I went to my local bike shop and I did it correctly. They did it for me for free actually, so if you just talk to them, honestly go down there, take your wheel off your bike first, go down there with just your wheel and say, hey, can you just pop this off? Maybe even offer to throw them five bucks. So that'll be your best bet. So I already got mine on, but I'll take everything off and show you guys how to do it. Don't mind the flat tire. Still looking for a tube sponsor. So if there's any companies out there, you know, trying to support your boy. I know air's free out here, but it seems to cost me money. Hit me. All right, I got my wheel off. Let's get it. I got my hydro brake ready to go. It's all clamped up. I'm just kind of sitting here. So yeah, we got the clamp there. Using that Tektro, you know, mineral oil, a lot of stuff. Only riding through best seat. Shout out Sus Bikes. First thing you're gonna need is this piece right here. From I got it from Amazon. They sent me two for like $13. show ya. So that's an adapter piece. Now this is where I say it's not perfect. This is an adapter piece that goes onto a freewheel side. If you know how a fixed hub works, it has two different levels of threading. The second level is smaller on the outside, so you can put a lock wash on there. Well, this is just the top, so this is why I say it's not perfect, because it's not threaded in all the threads that it has to offer on the hub, but it definitely does thread on there very well. It's the other adapter piece that I use. Your axle will go right through here and then you'll see how it all fits on there but yeah the brake goes right onto those holes right there should line up nice so these two parts is really all you need total thirty dollars i'd say plus the hydro brake which mine was forty dollars so seventy dollars go v brake thrown to a hydro brake thrown easy money let's get it so definitely i should y'all be quiet up there uh, Thread lock, gonna need it big time. So I already got mine on and everything, but you're gonna wanna go inside. See how I said about the inside outside threads? Those outside threads are still, you can see them, cause they don't get locked onto. There's some uh, thread locker. You're gonna wanna put some thread locker on that inside one and screw it on there and make sure you let it dry for the recommended time. My axle didn't fit all the way through this center hole, so I had to drill it out to a quarter inch drill bit, but now it fits perfect. You just want it to barely snug in there. I showed you that backwards, but you want the inside cup part to go towards your disc. Then you just throw your wheel on, make sure your disc is on where your fixed cog used to be, and this is hanging just like this. Calibers sitting there open, no bolts hanging around the wheel. Hit me. 
We need you. You're gonna need these. What you're also gonna need is from your V-brake setup that you took off. These spacers right here. Spacers, little guy, big guys, all of it to adjust. So grab all this stuff off your old brake pads. And little guys like these, three each, three each. So three times, we well, got six bolts, you're gonna 18 spacers. You'll need 18 and they go. Now, there you go, you can see them. So each one has three spacers down there. So you can clear your spokes. And those spacers that I used came out of it set like this. And the bolts that hold your brake caliber you're going to want to add some thread lock as well. So you're gonna put this screw through the caliber and then put this on and, and then screw it into the brake. Leave it loose because you're gonna to need to adjust it. You also want to leave these bolts loose for adjusting. It's time to put the wheel back to where it was. Slap that chain on. Not too tight, adjust your wheel. Get your chain all good. Make sure you're tight. Everybody knows adjusting brakes is damn the hardest thing in the world to do. I'll show you an easy way. What I do is I get one side slightly snug in the middle, not touching, and then I get the other side a tad bit snug, a little more, and then we go back to the first little snug, make sure it's still lined up properly, which it is. You can give that a nice slow hard turn. Go back to your other slow hard turn. Once again, tube sponsor. Hit me. I'm serious. So once that's on, that's good to go. Adjust it. Make sure your bolts are thread locked. Make sure your hydro brake is juiced up by your local bike shop or someone who knows how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's simple. Hope y'all enjoy this. Hope y'all take this the best way possible. I mean, I just did this as an experiment and this is how I want to ride my bike. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Everyone's been asking me, but I just gotta warn you guys like this isn't perfect like, a bike that's made for disc brakes is better, but you know, I got what I got and I do what I do and that's who I am So like comment subscribe if y'all enjoyed this one If y'all appreciated this uh, Let me know in the comments Share to your friends. Let them know Follow me on Instagram See y'all next time Hey Shout out Broke Boys BMX. Go check them out on Instagram, Jacob Santos. Thank you guys for the bars. These are awesome. Love the raw finish. Taller than the stock goon bars, just as wide though. Looks like they have the similar back sweep. Yeah, these bars are freaking awesome.